Hi guys, I promised to tell you about these WRC overlays a long time ago, so finally this day has come. I have been using these overlays for over half a year now and I'm very happy with how they work. I really like the display of the throttle and brake pedal pressure scale in WRC TV style. Also, displaying the distance countdown is a very convenient feature for me. In general, there is a lot of interesting and useful stuff here, and it's free. So, the first thing we need to do is, we need to install Theme Hub program. It is for this program that we will install WRC TV add-on a little later. We go to the official website and download installation file. Since I already have everything installed on my main PC, I'm gonna demonstrate this on my working laptop. At this stage everything is as usual, we wait for the program to install, couple of minutes and everything is ready. This is how the interface of the program looks like. Now we go to Overtake website, formerly Race Department. Thanks to Matthew for this wonderful add-on. Here is a download link. Next we download the archive and pack it to any convenient location and see 4 folders and file with instructions. Here everything is described in detail what to do. We go into the first folder and copy these two folders. Now we need to paste these folders into the root directory of the SimHub program. If you hover your mouse over the blue icon with the image of a gamepad, you will see the path to the root directory of this program. Ok, just copy and paste. And we need to do the same with the files from the fonts folder. We copy the files from the second folder and go to drive C, where your Windows is installed. You need to find system folders with fonts and paste these two files there. That's it, add-on is added. Now we're gonna launch the sim hub. Let's check what game is currently active. RBR, that's right. Now pay attention, we go to Dash Studio and choose Overlays tab. And now we need to choose one of the two options that corresponds to the resolution of your monitor. Next select Edit Layout and now we can customize this layout as we want. Let's add WRC logo as an example. Now let's launch RBR and see how this layout with WRC logo looks like. Now I'm gonna switch to my main PC to show you how my RBR layout looks, first in edit mode. Let's add another element as another example. Resize it and center it. Don't forget to save current layout. If you exit SimHub without saving, you will lose all changes. Next, don't close SimHub, you need just minimize the window with your layout and go to RBR. This is how my layout looks in the game. Now you can experiment with elements from add-on pack, change the location of elements, change the scale, etc. Also, depending on which camera you use, choose the most suitable elements. To create your own overlay, you need to click New Overlay Layout button. In fact, everything is very logical and simple here. The third folder contains plates with the name of Rally Pilots. Using Photoshop, you can write your name here if you want. Where to add this file is described in detail in the instructions. There is nothing complicated there either. That's it, now you can enjoy DigiDash in the style of the official WRC TV. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, here you're gonna find a lot of interesting stuff. Here I'm talking about rally and rally games all the time. Have a good stage.